it's January 16th, 2022. Um, yesterday was and the 2000, Anthony 2012's birthday cat scratch. Um, he, um, turned 10. So Benjamin came over with Alexander and Daniel, um, and, um, he sat in this chair while we all sat on the couch, and he said, Mom, he said, there's a new movie out. I think you should watch. I think you really like it. And I said, yeah. And I said, what's that? Because he really does not recommend anything to me. It's... I try to speak to him, but again, with all of them, I feel like their placental umbilicus connection to me has been stretched so far. We're deficient in our normal camaraderie, um, although they show up, so I'm appreciative of their appearance when they do come spend time here. Um, but Benjamin says, there's a movie that just came out, it's, uh, Matt Damon, um, he said, uh, it's called The Last Duel, and I said, yeah, no, Benjamin's got some connection to Jason Bourne, um, movie, franchise, whatever, only in the sense of, um, prowess by, by discrete feature, um, within the universal program of details that may fit a real life story, but most people think that it doesn't. Um, and it kind of just happens by miraculous whatever in I mean, like a hunter knows how to track and hunt its traps if it's a furrier. I would have no idea where, I mean, like, what to do. I mean, they've got little niche things. So, um, I'm just a time tracker for my kids and myself at the moment. Because I just feel like we're so off course. Um... So anyway, so Benjamin says it's about France in the um, 1300s. I was like, really? I was like, actually, that is right up my alley. I was like, but so interesting that you would know about it and that you would watch it. And he's like, yeah, so um, we didn't talk about it. And then he said to my mom, um, or... Somehow, the conversation, my mom caught wind of the whatever, and that Benjamin was recommending it. So as soon as the children left, um, my mom actually rented the movie. So Lou, Lynn, and myself sat here, um, and we watched the movie. Um, it was very interesting, because it's more... Like, time encapsulate, time in a bottle, if times were different, if the costume was different. But the innards are the same, the linguistical prowess, the connection to, like, oh, right, oh, somewhere, right, knights in shining armor, use the word squire, right? And then it's just a different construct in order to have a conversation of, uber importance, but may not have everyday use in this whatever I've been left within. Um, but I did enjoy it, I actually sat for the whole movie, although it did get very violent at one point, which of course for me I have to look out the window because it's just like, <gasps> just whatever. Um, whatever headspace I was in, but 
Um, but I did catch inside the movie a theme that I think is rather important. So, um, I haven't spoken to Ben about the movie, and I, I won't because I'm not here to critique it. I'm just here more to pull out the pearls of wisdom in vernacular that is of great use and value for me, um, or as I feel they are, um, in more machine mechanic things, um, especially followed, that movie followed up to the movie Cocoon, which the movie, um, The Last Duel, I had an articulation connection spot on, um, hit home, hit heavy for me at Wiffle Ball that I'm holding at the moment. Um, Cocoon, I was, I mean, I use the word angry, but I don't have the same kind of bitter anger like humans. I have more of like this quiet curiosity as to why they keep getting essential pieces of artifacts wrong. Like, are they purposely putting the wrong characters on the boat and giving the wrong character the ability to take off the skin and have this glowing thing underneath? Like, did Ron Howard, like, purposely do that? Or did he get steamrolled? Or did his casting director make an executive decision without his allowance and then mess up a whole part of the franchise? Or part of the the whatever. It gets confusing because I don't have access to these humans and I don't know on a large grand scale of communication if they're cognitively aware of how important each one of these details are to get correct prior to it taking place and to never allow when you get it correct, never to allow it to be rewritten over. I mean, there, there are places where the details are so significant and count so much higher than I think these humans even, I mean, even for myself when in my nothingness, unless an inquisitive mind wants to know or comes over, and brings it up. I don't even have anybody to parlay with or talk to or even participate with. Um, there was a saying um, growing up in the 90s, it's like, that's my name, don't wear it out. <laughs> right. I don't know if that has to do with copyright issue and possibly impersonation of whatever. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's where that saying came from, but it became a slogan of sorts, but I don't know what was on the back end of that, because again, I'm not in these crazy dark seedy underground like chat rooms and things with the humans or the robots. Whoever knows what's on the other end of something in technology land. Um, Again, it's January 16th, 2022. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, and Speyside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.